Let me show you another uh, pagan day that you all are planning on celebrating tomorrow. Mother's Day. Let me get Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Because this is a heavy, heavy, strong delusion that all of my people struggle from. We have to ask ourselves, these holidays that you're given, your oppressor has given you these holidays. Your enemy has given you these holidays. The same people who put your children in cages gave you these holidays. Yet you would let you celebrate it with open arms. Let me get Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So hold on. It says beware. It's a warning. It's a warning that the Most High is giving you. It says, beware that any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, meaning false doctrines and lies. So we are here to tell you that you have been lied to for a long time. Your nationality is not Mexican. Your nationality is not Hispanic. Your nationality, according to the Bible, is God's chosen people from the tribes of Issachar. That is your true nationality. You are gods on earth, but yet you have fallen to the level of servants. And what we are trying to show you is how to get back to the level of gods on earth. Because you are the sons and daughters of God. That's right. You are. Not metaphorically. Not, not, not uh, all of that. But literally are the sons and daughters of God. The tribes of Issachar. A mighty tribe. A mighty tribe. Right. But re read that part. Uh, read on uh, Colossians. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After the rudiments of the world. So the Mother's Day is a tradition of men. And after the rudiments and te mean the teachings of the world. So this is this day, Mother's Day, is not according to the Bible. It's not a biblical holiday that you're supposed to keep. Hey sis, with the shirt with the uh the, the sweater with it says pink on it. That's you. Hey, check this out. We're trying to teach you what the Bible says not to do when it comes to these pagan holidays. Hey, come here real quick, brother on the bicycle. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of man, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. We get Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 18. So Mother's Day is a tradition of the world and not after Christ. If you say you believe in God, you say you believe in Jesus, then you have to do the things that they teach in the Bible. So now where did the origins of Mother's Day come from? It's a Babylonian custom which celebrates the queen of heaven, which is a pagan god. Let's see it being referenced in the Bible. Because these holidays that they give you, it isn't random. It's to keep you in the midst of sin. It's to keep you in idolatry. It's to Bring keep it you into false idol worship. Which is the same sins that you've fallen into when you were ruling in the Maya Inca and Azteca Empire. You worship the sun. You worship Teotihuacan, Khan. You worship all these different pagan gods so they're trying to keep you in the midst of idolatry by making you continuously worship pagan gods so let's see this pagan god that majority of you will be worshiping tomorrow on this fake holiday called mother's day read jeremiah chapter 7 verse 18 the children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire so what are they doing? They're preparing for an event, right? They're gathering wood, they're kindling a fire, and they're preparing for an event that's upcoming, right? Let's see what it is. And the woman need their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. You see, this holiday, you do the same thing over and over and over. How many times on so-called Mother's Day, they say, oh, uh, uh, buy a cake for your mom on her special day. People are still buying and selling and making cakes to honor the queen of heaven and calling it Mother's Day. Yes, this is a pagan holiday that you're doing and you have to repent from it. But read on. And to pour out drink offerings unto other gods. You see, you're going to be drinking your mimosas tomorrow, eating your little finger sandwiches, eating your little foods in honor of Mother's Day, not understanding that you're participating in a ritual act to honor the so-called queen of heaven, which is a pagan deity. I, also, another word, idolatry. Let me get the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 19. Because what we're trying to explain to you all is that you have to come out of the midst of sin that you are in. Because if you do not repent, the death, the killing, the persecution will continue. 
You will continue to have your children taken. You will continue to suffer in the street under the hands of the same people who torment you all day. The so-called white man is not your friend. They are your enemy. You know this. We know this. Everybody knows this. So today you have to get out of the denial of that fact. So you have to stop celebrating their holidays. You have to stop um, participating in their paganistic ways and come back to your true nationality, which is the Israelites. Read. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 19. Hey, brother, here you go right here. You got a question? Hey, you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Okay. And when we burn incense to the queen of heaven. You see, the pagan practice of worshiping the queen of heaven has been going on since ancient times. This is not a new thing that they got you guys doing. Right. This is an ancient ritual that is worshiping idolatry, the queen of heaven, uh, another god other than the god of the Bible. Right? Read. And poured out drink offerings unto her. Did we make her cakes to worship her? And pour out drink offerings unto her without our men. So just like how we are just how you understand that you don't celebrate Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is celebrated in honor of the slaughter of your brothers, the Native Indians. You understand you don't celebrate that regardless of the reason, but all of a sudden you're confused when we're telling you not to celebrate Mother's Day because it's in honor of a pagan god called the Queen of Heaven. You have to understand what you're doing is being recorded in heaven. What you're doing is, again, you're continuing your sin of idolatry. You are continuing your sin of worshiping other gods. And you will suffer for it. You will be judged and the Lord will condemn you if you do not repent. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. Because the thing is, I know a lot of times you're thinking, what's wrong with just honoring my mother? It's nothing bad. First of all, the law says honor that mother and that father. So you don't need to do it on one particular day that was designed to worship a pagan god. You're supposed to honor your mother and your father every day. So what we're trying to show you is no matter your feelings about it, we have to go with thus saith the Lord. We have to say what the Bible says and do what that says. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So what it's saying is don't lean to your own understanding because your heart, which is your mind, is going to trick you to do things that you may seem is right, but it's really wrong. You think to yourself, oh, I'm going to celebrate Mother's Day because that's showing that I love my mother. In your mind, you've convinced yourself that that's right. But you cannot honor your mother and cover up that with, with pagan, with pagan uh, traditions. With idolatrous ways. If you say that you believe in the Bible, if you say that you believe in Jesus Christ, then you have to do the things that he taught. And what he didn't teach was idolatry. What he did not teach is the worship of the Queen of Heaven. What he did not teach is the keeping of a pagan holiday called Mother's Day. That's right. So you are not to keep that day. And I know a lot of times, hey, also, what we are saying may seem confusing to you all. But what we're doing also, we're welcoming anybody who has any questions or concerns or wants to know what it is we're teaching. And we're welcoming any open dialogue. Right? You're going to see us all throughout the city. We, we are all throughout the city and we're going to teach you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, that you are the Israelites. And that you need to repent and come back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of God in order to change your condition. So uh, let me get the book of... Uh, Luke chapter 11 verse 27 because now I just said did Christ keep these days did Christ uh, on the Mother's Day no he didn't and we're going to show you an example of the, the Christ saying no we're not going to do that we're going to honor the Most High we're going to honor God we're not going to worship the woman which uh, America wants you to do so let's see an example on how Christ handled this situation read Luke chapter 11 verse 27 and it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted her, her voice. So, as Christ was teaching the laws of God, somebody spoke up and said something that very, was very disturbing. And he corrected her. And let's see what that thing was that she said. And said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. So, she's trying.
trying to take all the good that Christ did and was doing for the Most High and actually give all the honor to his mother. Let's see how he dealt with that situation. But he said, yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So better it is that you keep the commandments of God rather than trying to so-called honor your mother by, by keeping a pagan holiday in which you think is honoring her. You truly honor your parents by obeying God. You truly honor your mother and your father by keeping the commandments of God. That would show that they were good parents by teaching you to be obedient to your creator. See, they, you would be dishonoring your parents if you participate in idolatry because they would show that they were bad parents not teaching you the laws of God. You understand? So let me show you this. Go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter four, chapter 14, verse 16. Because now you're probably saying, well, look, my, uh, I, I know my children celebrate Mother's Day. My mama, ce my mother celebrated Mother's Day. Everybody who I remember in my whole entire family celebrated Mother's Day. That doesn't mean it's right. That just means your family been in idolatry for a long time. That's right. And just because something is celebrated over a long period of time doesn't make it good doesn't make it righteous. And we're going to see what the scripture says about that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 verse 16. Thus in process of time. So over a course of time, right? An ungodly custom grown strong was kept. So over a process of time ungodly customs is kept and still being kept. What read? Was kept as a law. So you think that you'll be dishonoring your mother. If you don't keep this ungodly holiday called Mother's Day. So the scripture says that the traditions and holidays and ways of the world are ungodly customs. That's right. So read that whole thing again. Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. And graven images were worshipped by the commandment of kings. You see? That they have been pushing idolatry on you all since the beginning of time. And you've fallen for it over and over and over. You tribes of Issachar. You, you northern kingdom of Israel. You have fallen into the midst of idolatry over and over and over. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>